Hello everyone, today let us understand in detail about audio and video digitization. What is digitization? Conversion of analog information like text, images, voice, etc. to digital form with suitable electronic devices such as a scanner or specialized computer chips so that the information can be processed and transmitted through digital circuits, equipment, and networks. Process involved in digitization are sampling and quantization. In sampling, the analog signal is sampled after each time interval. Most important factor in sampling is the rate at which analog signal is sampled. According to Nyquist theorem, the sampling rate must be at least two times of the highest frequency of the signal. Sampling gives discrete form of continuous analog signal. Every discrete pattern shows the amplitude of the analog signal at that instance. The quantization is done between the maximum amplitude value and the minimum amplitude value. Quantization is approximation of the instantaneous analog value which is then converted into binary format. Steps to be followed in audio digitization are First take the samples of audio at predetermined time intervals known as the sampling rate. Then represent the sampled audio with digital signals using pulse amplitude modulation. And at last encode signals into binary code using pulse code modulation to obtain discrete signal level. Pulse amplitude modulation, PAM is a form of signal modulation, where the message information is encoded in the amplitude of a signal pulses. It is an analog pulse modulation scheme, in which the amplitudes of carrier pulses are varied according to the sample value of the message signal. In pulse modulation technique the amplitude of an analog signal is converted to a binary value and represented as a series of pulses. The integer numbers have effectively been coded into zeros and ones. The ones and zeros now contain the audio information, encoded in a form that could be processed by a computer. Some important points to be noted about digitization of audio. Higher the sampling rate to represent the signal, the higher will be the quality of audio signal. Quality is retained, as only codes are transmitted, which represent audio signal. Audio can be recreated to the original quality, by extracting the pattern from the digital code. Video digitization is a process of conversion of composite signal into digital form, through the use of an analog to digital converter. The A to D converter periodically samples the level of the analog signal, and creates a binary number, or series of digital pulses, that represent the level of the signal. The basic process used to digitize images, is to sample the image element's pixels, for intensity and color. For color video, each element contains intensity that is brightness and color components red, green, and blue. These components are periodically sampled and converted into a digital format. For color images, each line of image is separate into its color components red, green and blue. Each position on filtered image is scanned, or sampled and converted to a predefined level. Each sampled level is converted into a digital signal. Digital video is often used to capture content, from movies and television. Video source like camera, VCR, TV or video disc is connected to a video capture card in a computer. As the video source is played, the analog signal is sent to the video card and converted into a digital file, which is later processed using video editing software. Digital Video Compression Schemes or Codex is the algorithm used to compress a video for delivery. The codec then decodes the compressed video in real time for fast playback. Streaming audio and video starts playback as soon as enough data has transferred to the user's computer to sustain this playback. The video compression and decompression programs are used, so that video can fit on a single CD, and the speed of transferring video from a CD to the computer can be increased. The video is compressed when it has to be stored, and it is decompressed when the video has to be displayed. Some of the advantages of digitization are No physical limits for storage Can be accessed via the internet 24 by 7 availability of access Great saving of space Integrated online resource sharing. It is cheaper to maintain digital library than book library. Linking and networking possibilities. Any number of times digital files can be duplicated with exactness. Created using Powtoon.